Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Friday, July 7th, 2017. And I've been sent this video to take a look at. It's called Moon Gets Eclipsed by Planet X Casting Huge Shadow on Sky and Water on Three Cameras. July 6th, 2017 by Jeff P. Now I'm not sure if Jeff P is mirroring this video. He talks about Nibiru Watcher or if this is a creation by Jeff P himself. But uh, let's take a look and see if we can work it out. Hi everyone, this is Nibiru Watcher. It is July 6, 2017, and I have presented many times in the past about these dark, shadowy planet-like objects that appear on cameras and maybe even to the naked eye. And you will not be disappointed. Please hang out. I have more evidence that these are celestial bodies that are eclipsing our sun and the moon. And yes, there is a moon simulator just like there is a sun moon, just like a sun simulator. So let's just dig right into this evidence. Are these spots on the camera? Well, let's just keep watching. Because if it was a spot on the lens of the camera, it would not move around. But I want you to watch something more powerful. This moon. And I'll prove to you that this is the moon as it rises in the southwest sky in Germany. All the camera evidence I'm going to show you today are south and southwest over Europe, southwest at the same time. Behold, <laughs> this is going to blow you away. Now watch this. Moon pass this moon get eclipsed, the light of the moon being eclipsed. Let's just show, I just got to show you this. Watch what happens when the sun is being blocked from shining its light on the moon by a planetary object. Yes. So we got to turn on the moon simulator and get behind this thing and watch. So after two painful minutes of that video, that's all we really need to see. When I first clicked on this link, I saw that it was 14 minutes long, and I really didn't want to waste 14 minutes of my life watching another brain-dead video showing absolute nonsense. And Jeff P has shown all that we need to know to debunk this video. And what did he show? He showed the moon moving from about here up to here over a period of a couple of hours. Now why does the moon appear to move from here up to here over a couple of hours? Is it because the moon is orbiting the Earth and takes 24 hours to orbit the Earth? No. The moon takes almost a month to orbit the Earth once. So why does the moon take only a couple of hours to move from here up to here? Well, most people who have a very basic understanding of astronomy understand it is very simply because the Earth rotates on its axis once every 24 hours. And it is that motion of the Earth rotating once every 24 hours which causes the Sun, the Moon and the stars to appear to rise in the east, move across the sky and set in the west. That's right, it's not the Moon moving across the sky, it's not the sun moving across the sky. It's not the stars moving across the sky. It is the earth rotating once every 24 hours or 15 degrees per hour. And what are the implications of this? It means that if these spots in the image were actual bodies in space, they too would move across the sky from east to west, just like the sun, the moon and the stars do. But what do we see? We see that they either remain in exactly the same place, or 
as we saw at the start of the video, they even move in the opposite direction. So what does that tell me? Well, maybe it's not bird shit on the lens this time, but how about a big fat spider? Yep, a big fat spider will move around on the lens while he's waiting to catch a moth or some sort of insect in the web that you can't see. But certainly if it was a planetary object, it would be moving across the sky in unison with the moon and the stars, just like everything else moves across the sky at 15 degrees per hour. And that's all that we need to look at in this video to see that it has been debunked. Oh, but I've seen the best for last because just take a deep breath and keep watching. <laughs> you know, I really like to make videos and this just takes your breath away. So, <laughs> oh, look at that. A lunar halo. Wow. People, if you can't see that, tilt your monitor side. Let it reduce the brightness and you will see the outline of this dark halo <laughs> as it passes. I still save the best for last, so just keep watching. So, again, we have a moon dog. Yeah, I, I, I know what that is. Yes, Jeff, that's exactly what you've got. You've got a moon dog, just like a sun dog. Yes, you see all those clouds up there that you claim are chemtrails. You know those clouds, those little wispy things that you see in the sky? Frozen water vapor, ice crystals. Why don't you Google 22 degree halo and uh, educate yourself about what you're actually seeing there. Maybe if you actually went outside at night and looked at the sky a few times in your lifetime, instead of confining yourself to your computer and looking at webcams, maybe you might have observed a lunar halo a few times in your life before. I've seen it many times. I'm approximately 50 years old, and I can remember seeing lunar halos even when I was a child, because I was so interested in astronomy back then. I spent a lot of time underneath the stars looking at the sky at night. And I remember seeing a lunar halo. It's no big deal. And yes, if you've got bright moonlight and you've got ice crystals in the sky, you're going to have a 22 degree halo. And that is the light refracting through the ice crystals in the air producing that halo. Educate yourself, Jeff. Now, I put out a challenge to you, Jeff. If you'd like to discuss your images, your videos with me, I'd be pleased to host you on a hangout. Let's take a close look at your videos, let's analyse your images and let's discuss what we're seeing in your videos. And you can explain to me why your Planet X remains static in some of your shots instead of moving from the east to west across the sky, like the sun and the moon and the stars do. I'd love to hear your explanation for that. Thank you for visiting my channel, please be sure to subscribe. For further discussion, check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.